Hello everyone, my name is Mustafa Mohamed Boche and we are continuing from where we left off. So when we created our module, right, which is this reporter, we didn't make any migrations nor migrated. So it is time for us to do that. So we just do Python manage.py make migrations, okay? And then we'll do Python, sorry. We'll do Python manage, sorry money.py migrate so now this table you know have been created inside our database and I'm actually using SQLite okay as the database so we can actually open this or even down over here we can actually view it here so we realize that we have what this reporter over there and then we can actually see that it has what the integer of what the id as the integer and then the full name and then the email okay and then the id is what is the primary key good so now like i'm saying we are looking at how we can process the form data and then save it inside our form so inside the view we'll actually import this module okay so let's import this model inside so from this directory modules we want to import for instance reporter because that's the name i think good now django actually uses you know the orm and what the orm basically does is instead of us writing for instance SQL query, okay, saying, for instance, insert into, let's say, our table name, okay, values, blah, blah, blah. The ORM actually have functions that take care of that, so we don't actually have to do so much, of course still within the ORM you, you can actually write your own SQL queries but that will be redundant okay so we are going to use the Django ORM to do that so now that we've imported the module this module over here will come down here okay and then what we are going to do is we are going to do the reporter so let's say let's call this reporter is equal to reporter and then we set the for instance the full name and then the email and then to actually do the insertion what we can actually do is just do reporter dot save or the save method on it and we can do same thing when it's uh, the data that we get is what is a post data. So we can do a reporter is equal to the same thing and then reporter dot save. So what I'm actually going to do is when we are sending the data using, for instance, the form data, I'm actually going to submit a valid email. Okay. I'm actually going to submit a valid email and then when I'm done when I'm submitting the data using a JSON I'll submit an invalid email okay and then in the next tutorial we'll look at how we can handle form validations okay so first things first let's save this so that we ensure that this actually saves so we save this, we go to our Tanda client, and with the form data, we're actually going to submit this. So if I send this post request again, sorry, I've actually not uh, started the server. So let's do python.manage.py 
front server. So our server has started. So let's send this. We get that. Okay, so this is working. And now, if we go back and then, for instance, we show this table, we see that we have my first name in there, and then we have my email in there. Which this is a valid email, right? So now, let's make our second request, and let's make sure that the email is not a valid email, right? So something like this. Okay. And let me change the name so that like it becomes very, very you know visible for you so we have the full name as emery sorry i didn't mean to save this request so i have the full name as emery and then the email as this <clears throat> and this we are using we are sending it as a json if we send this this also gets saved okay so <clears throat> if we show our database again we see that this information is saved inside our database but this is not a valid what email so this is where form validation comes in okay so i'm going to pause the video over here and then in the next tutorial we'll see how we can handle form validations okay to ensure that the information that we are getting from the user okay or through the request is actually a valid data okay so thank you for watching this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one bye bye